Water drainage systems, especially if they are connected to a sump inside the home, can provide an easy pathway for radon to enter the home. However, if you put a sealed lid on the sump and connect your radon venting system to it, you can very effectively reduce radon in your home. Connecting a radon system to a sump is very easy. There are several commercially available lids that will bolt and seal to the floor, and they also have penetrations for the plumbing from your sump pump as well as for the radon vent pipe. You could also make your own sump lid out of clear plastic such as Lexan, so you can easily look into the sump. If you make your own, you will need to acquire rubber grommets to seal around the pipe penetrations. Regardless of what sump cover you use, it is important to be sure that it seals well to the floor and that you do not do anything that would impede the system from collecting and pumping water away from your foundation. After your sump cover is in place, you can easily connect your radon vent pipe to it and route it to your plan fan location. If you do not have an interior sump, but rather have an exterior drain located along the footing of your foundation, you can also connect a radon system to it. To connect to an exterior drain, you will have to dig down to the drain, which will typically be near the footing, which will be below frost line. If this is more than three feet, you should shore up the hole to prevent it from collapsing in on you. Remove any decorative material or rocks so you can replace it after you are done. It is highly recommended to hand dig down to the drain, carefully avoiding sprinkler and other utility lines. Once you get near the drain, which is located at or below the footing, you will encounter a geotech cloth. Carefully cut and fold this back so it can be replaced later. Once the drain is exposed, connect your 4-inch Schedule 40 PVC or ABS radon vent pipe to the drain. Then lay the geotech cloth back over your connection. Replace the excavated dirt, compacting it as you go at least once every 6 inches. If your perimeter drain is designed to drain water away from your home by gravity to a spot on a hillside, you will need to locate the ends of these pipes, and there may be two of them. Once located, install a check valve on the end that will allow water to drain away but not suck air from the outside. After you have put check valves on the soakaways and installed a vent riser to your drain, you can connect your radon fan to it. Do not bury the fan, but rather have it located a couple of feet above grade level.